Lauren Cassidy is a Macaulay Honors Scholar at Queens College and became a CUNY BA student only this semester, pursuing a degree in live entertainment and media. She was drawn to CUNY BA while looking for a major that satisfied her desire to study and train in all artistic aspects of live performance, production, and promotion as an independent artist. Since the age of nine, Lauren has been an active singer, actress, dancer, and writer. She has always deeply felt and acknowledged the power art and words have to inspire people and to change the world. Her three passions in life are art, psychology, and connection to people. In all of her artistic endeavors, Lauren uses music, visuals, and words to tell a story that holds a deeper meaning and can offer life lessons. It is a true pleasure to welcome Lauren Cassidy. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lauren Cassidy. Family is a very meaningful and influential aspect of life. I'd like to take you back to the 1950s, where we saw the emergence of the ideal family unit. Angel Face tells the story of Angel Anderson, a 16-year-old girl living in the idealized world of 1950s America with her dysfunctional family. The song describes the Andersons and their warped perceptions of and relationships with one another. The music video introduces each member of the family by having them pose for a series of portraits. This displays how the family strives to be seen as perfect, as most families did during the 50s. TV shows and instructional films from that decade taught white middle-class families how they should behave. The three rules for children were obey authority, control your emotions, and conform in actions and appearance. Anything outside of this was seen as not normal. Struggles commonly found within many modern families are the same today as they were back then. The only difference is that families in the 50s that were struggling were trained to conceal it. This song is a point of realization for a child of that decade who dealt with family issues. For the first time in her life, Angel is realizing that her family is not what is considered normal and now must cope with the consequences of her troubling past. She explains how forcing children to project an image of perfectionism is damaging to their relationship with their parents and their relationship with their own self. This song is the first single I'm releasing as an introduction to a concept album that will continue the story of these characters and cover topics such as family issues, child abuse, mental illness, and finding forgiveness and autonomy. My goal with this project is to use the platform of pop music to discuss serious issues and help those who have felt similar to feel less alone, more understood, and eventually empowered. We will now be viewing a small portion of the video that portrays this family's relationship. Please visit my YouTube channel, Laura Nicole Cassidy, to see the full version. Thank you. And everyone says, oh my gosh, you have the perfect daughter for her age. She is so mature. I need to know your secret on how you made the perfect little girl. Treated like some kind of prize, and now you're just dead inside. Daddy's little girl or a mama's boy Either way you feel like a dress-up toy Pressure rises and a crisis of identity Feeling less like a person and more like a trophy Like father, like daughter, like mother, like son Words only hurt till you've heard enough Grow up to be what they 
shoes for you So desperate to please Has turned you into Thank you. Yes, so now we're going to open it up to questions and I am the chat moderator. So feel free to write to me privately in the chat box. Uh, if you go to and then you'll see chat moderator as a name, please send me your questions. And Lauren, as you can see in the chat, they are showering you with praise. Yes, thank you very much, everyone. It was a labor of love, a passion <laughs> project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Lauren, if you have actually access to, I know I've seen a couple of people asking for the link to the, um, I have the link to the, the full video on YouTube in the PowerPoint, but if you want to drop that in the chat box as well, then um, more people can check out your channel. Oh, sure. I mean, I don't have the link on me, but I can access it real right. quick. So Lauren, we have the first question. And Great. the first question comes from Mary Pearl, who's asking, what drew you to the 1950s? So I have always been interested in vintage culture, everything from the 40s all the way to the 70s and even the 80s. I love exploring those different decades. But the 50s in particular, I had done some research on that time period for a class. And I discovered all these old films by Coronet and Encyclopedia Britannica that actually served as instructional films to teach families how to behave and how to act, specifically children and teens. And what I found out in my research is that a lot of things that modern families deal with or struggle with, a lot of problems that modern families face and that people think are only modern problems, were actually problems that were dealt with back then as well, especially by children and teens. It's just there wasn't much known about it and people were ashamed to talk about something if it wasn't right. So I wanted to set this world and this character and this concept in that time period to kind of bring awareness to that issue and bring to light that a lot of things that people struggle with now has been happening for a long time. So, yeah. Thank you, that's a great response. Any Thank other you. questions? Okay, so we've just got another question. Okay. Did you wear a vintage dress? Uh, yes, the, so I have two outfits in that video. Um, both are vintage, like true vintage clothing that I found from, one was from a thrift shop and one was from an Etsy store. So yes, both were vintage. Very interesting. And another question for you. In what ways do you see the modern social media trend mirroring or diverging from what your research of the stereotypical 1950s white middle class family showed you? I see. So in social media specifically, there's a lot of praise for the ideal family unit of the 50s. And it's really interesting because I feel like people look upon that time period as if it was this ideal perfect world and it, it really wasn't. It's just nobody talked about the imperfect qualities of it. It's interesting that you mentioned social media because something I do want to talk about in my music is uh, mental illness and how 
a lot of things like depression and anxiety that people struggle with now existed back then. It's just people didn't know about it or they were ashamed to talk about it. But in social media today, there's a lot of um, the romanticization of mental illness. And we've kind of moved from being ignorant about it to almost uh, decreasing the severity of such issues and such struggles by the way that we kind of um, praise it on social media, or at least certain companies and celebrities do from what I've seen. I hope that answers your question. Yes, that absolutely does. And I'll just round it out with one final question that will link to this answer quite nicely. So what do you hope your audience is going to take from your piece and from this experience with you? I hope that whoever watches this will be able to see themselves either in Angel Face or in another character in the story, or be able to see somebody that they know, and maybe they can understand themselves a little bit better or understand that person that they know that may have struggled with something similar a little bit better. That's fantastic. Can't wait for the rest of the album. <laughs>